In the Gospels, Jesus says, My son, be of good cheer. Thy sins have been forgiven thee. Why can Jesus forgive sins? Or do we need Jesus to forgive sins? Catholics might go to the priest to confess their sins and um, he forgives them for them. Or maybe Orthodox people will pray to saints, people will pray to Mary for forgiveness of sins. And um, I've even spoken to New Agers and they say, just forgive yourself and be positive and you can move on. But something's not right there. Think of it this way. Let's say that I borrow a car from a friend and while I park it in front of my house, uh, I hit a pole and I damage the car. Now I feel bad because I have to face my friend and tell him what I did to his car. Now let's say my neighbor just saw what happened. He comes outside and he says, don't worry, I forgive you. Would that help me? I still have to face my friend and see how he responds. I can also tell myself, I have forgiven myself. Still, I have to face my friend and deal with it. It is not until after I have faced my friend, told him what I did, and after he says, don't worry, I forgive you, then I can can feel good again and I can be good with him. Of course, I still have to pay for the damage or have the insurance deal with that. When we sin, we sin against God. And we need forgiveness from God. Only then we can be okay. It doesn't help if a priest says that our sins are forgiven. It doesn't help if we pray to Mary or to saints or whatever. It doesn't help if we do other things to make up for what we did wrong. We still have to deal with God with regards to, to our sins. And the problem that we usually have is that we don't understand that we sin against God. When we sin, we break God's moral law. That is the issue. And one who understood well was King David when he writes in Psalm 51, after he had Uriah killed and took his wife Bathsheba, it caused him a year of sleepless nights and he had a lot of time to think. But then in Psalm 51, he writes, against thee, my God, against thee only have I sinned. And once we understand this, we also understand that only he can forgive us. Now the problem is that God is holy. God says, be holy because I am holy. And we, uh, as sinful beings, uh, as it says in uh, Isaiah, uh, we are like dirty rags. And how can we come before this holy God? This God who actually makes clear in scripture that he cannot even see uh, sin. But first, fortunately, he provided a way through his son, Jesus. God became man so that we can approach him. The Pharisees who heard Jesus say, your sins are forgiven thee, said the same thing. They were surprised. How can he say this? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. And that was the whole point. Indeed, only God can forgive sins. And he made it possible through Jesus. Uh, he made himself approachable through Jesus. And so when we, we confess our sins to Jesus and we ask him to forgive our sins, then we can truly be reconciled with God. Again, Jesus responds to the Pharisees by saying that you may know that I have the authority of God to forgive sins. He proves by saying your sins have been forgiven. He proves that he is God, that he has all the authority of God. And the good news is that in addition to that, he also paid for the damage. It's like I go to my friend, to go back to the uh, former example, 
uh, the car is damaged, he says, don't worry, it's forgiven and it's already paid for as well. It's actually already fixed. Can you imagine that? This is the good news of the gospel. So yes, we need Jesus for forgiveness of sins. It is the only way for us to be reconciled with God again. And it is the only way that makes sense. All the other things, they really don't make any sense.